In lesson 9.3, you will graph and write equations of circles. A circle is a set of all points x, y that are equidistant from a fixed point called the center. So if we draw a circle on our coordinate plane, just any circle, we want to label that center hk. That center is going to have coordinates hk. And then <coughs> all the points x, y, and equidistant from that center form this circle. So I'll just locate a point x, y on my circle. And the distance from the center to the circle, or to the point on the circle, is the radius. And that has a length of r units. Okay, now to write the equation of a circle, all we need to use all we need to do is use our distance formula. Remember the distance is equal to the square root of the difference in x coordinates squared plus the difference in y coordinates squared. So the radius is the distance that we're going to find using this uh, distance formula. And one of our ordered pairs is the center and the other ordered pair is the point x, y. So if I take a difference in x coordinates, I can subtract x, take away h, the quantity squared, and a difference in y coordinates would be y, take away k, the quantity squared. Well, this just gives us an equation of our circle, and if we square both sides to get rid of the uh, radical uh, on the right, we can write the equation of our circle as r squared equals the quantity x minus h squared plus y take away k squared. So that's standard form for the equation of a circle. Now if h and k, if this circle is centered at the origin and h and k are both zero, then our equation of our circle again simplifies. It simplifies to x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So uh, in this first example, if we're going to graph y squared equals 4 minus x squared, and then identify the center and the radius of the circle, we want to put this equation in standard form. I recognize that it's a circle and not a parabola because both x and y are squared. To get it in standard form, all we have to do is move that x squared term to the other side of the equal sign so that in standard form this circle is x squared plus y squared equals 4. And now to graph it, pick out the center. since. 0 is subtracted from x and 0 is subtracted from y in this equation. Our center is the origin, 0, 0. Both h and k are 0 in this equation. And our radius is the square root of 4. And the square root of 4 is 2. So given this information now, I'll graph a center at 0, 0. I have a radius of 2 units, so I'm going to go up 2 units to the left two units of the center, down two units, and to the right two units. And then draw my circle through those four points. So that's the circle whose equation is x squared plus y squared equals 4. In example 2, we want to write the standard form of the equation of the circle that passes through the point negative 2, 5, and whose center is 0, 0. So I know again if the center is 0, 0, the equation is simply x squared plus y squared equals r squared. And I need to know what the radius squared is in order to write this equation of the circle in x and y. So I can use the point that they give us, a point on the circle, and I can substitute negative 2 in for x. I can substitute 5 in for y and solve for r squared. So negative 2 squared is 4, 5 squared is 25. So r squared 
is equal to 29. And now all we have to do to write the equation of our circle in standard form is x squared plus y squared. Substitute in 29 for r squared. In example 3, we want to write an equation of the line tangent to the circle x squared plus y squared equals 17 at point 0.14. So I'm going to sketch a circle whose center is 0, 0, because both h and k are 0 in this equation. And I'm going to locate a point 1, 4 on this circle. And I'm going to determine that the radius of this circle has to be the square root of 17. Okay, and now a line tangent to the circle at that point, 1, 4, remember from geometry, is just a line that intersects the circle only at that point, 1, 4. And now if I'm going to write the equation of that line, that tangent line, I need a point and a slope. Well, I have the point 1, 4 on the line, but I need a slope. And I can find a slope because I know that the tangent line uh, is perpendicular to the radius drawn from the center to that same point, 1, 4. They're perpendicular, so their slopes are going to be opposite reciprocals. And I have two points on the line that passes through the radius, so I'm going to find the slope of that line by subtracting, remember our slope formula is difference in y coordinates over difference in x coordinates. So the slope of that line through the radius is 4 take away 0 over 1 take away 0, or just 4 over 1, which is 4. Now its opposite reciprocal is the slope that I need, and the opposite reciprocal of 4 over 1 is negative 1 over 4. So I'll use that slope and the point 1, 4 on the tangent line in order to write the equation of that tangent line. So using point-slope form, since that's what I have to substitute into my equation, y take away the y coordinate is 4, the slope is negative 1 fourth, and x take away the x coordinate is 1. Okay, now I want this equation in slope intercept form because I have parentheses to get rid of and like terms to combine. I'll solve for y to get it in slope intercept form, so I'm distributing on the right negative 1 fourth x plus 1 fourth, and I'm adding 4 from the other side, and 4 is 16 fourths. So now my equation in slope intercept form is y equals negative 1 fourth x plus a total of 17 fourths. That's the equation of the line tangent to this circle at point 1, 4. Include with your notes of this video guided practice problems 2 through 5 on page 627 of your textbook.